Hey guys, Mr. Throne here. We're going to take a look at, uh, at a, uh, an event that sometimes is a little hard to explain, but we want to analyze it from a very simple perspective. Okay, so I've got some simple things we're going to work with. I've got ice cubes in a tray. Oh, love those bells. Got ice cubes in a tray, and I got a couple of beakers that I'm filled with water. And everyone here has dealt with ice water before, okay? It's something we can all relate to. But I want, to, I want to be thinking about density, I want to be thinking about scientific method, and just some conclusions we can draw based on some simple things. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is fill these up with water. All right. Okay, and uh, let's see, we got all the ice cubes we need over there. Okay. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is put a few ice cubes in this, and I just want you to take some observations to start with, all right? Uh, your teacher's going to lead you through a discussion about it, but I want you to look closely at what happens, all right? Look for some details. So we got a couple of these big ice cubes. That one's not big enough. Let's get some that have good size to them, you can see. Okay. I'm going to put these in, and that looks a whole lot like a glass of ice water that you've had before. Okay, now I'm going to grab three more ice cubes out of the same tray. I'll put them in the other beaker. Huh. We got something different going on. Okay, Mr. Radford's getting you a nice close-up here of what's happening. But it's obvious in one beaker, the ice cubes are floating at the top, and in one beaker, they're sinking. Okay, now what you want to do with this information is you got to think back to normal everyday life. Are there ever times when you notice ice sinking in your drink? Or you notice ice floating? Does it always float? Does it always sink? Okay, you have to start with some observations. Go draw from your, your the things you know, your prior knowledge. What, it, what usually happens? Does the same thing always happen? Is there times where it's different compared to what goes on? Okay, and then we're going to have to take a look and see if we can figure out why one of these is acting different than the other. There's got to be a reason. Okay, ice cubes came out of the same tray. The water comes out of the same tap. It's Everything seems pretty normal, except we have a different event happening in one of these beakers compared to the other. So you're going to take a few moments to talk with your teacher, see if you can come up with some educated guesses, and nothing is off the table here. Okay? It doesn't mean it's complicated. You want to start simple. Figure out some observations and see if you can come up with some possibilities as to why this might be happening. And then we make a list of them and we see if we can kind of eliminate from that list what may be could be happening, what maybe isn't, what can we test, what can we figure out, what can we eliminate, what can we support, and see what we can end up with some kind of simple conclusion. Okay, so take some time with your teacher to figure this out.